I'll demonstrate the RNA seq workflow in Genome Quest 6.0. The demonstration will be based on this paper from Genome Research, where multiple data sets were created from human liver and kidney. You might think of these data sets as a time series experiment or as liver and kidney being treated in a variety of different ways. We'll have two aims in this demo. One is to compare the overall expression of genes between liver and kidney based is all of the data sets. And the second aim would be to get expression data from each of the data sets that I upload. As you can see, I have 10 FASTA files, five from liver, five from kidney, and they contain Illumina reads that I would like to analyze using RNA-seq. The first step is to upload my sequences. I will upload the liver sequences first and then upload my kidney file. Having uploaded the files, the next step is to launch the RNA-seq workflow with, with liver as experiment A, kidney as experiment A, B using the Illumina files against the appropriate transcriptome. And in a few hours, the workflow is done and you're viewing the results including statistics about the total number of genes measured and those that are expressed or unexpressed, the most overexpressed genes in experiment A as well as those in experiment B. You also get some gene analysis distribution with respect to the number of reads that map to one gene or multiple genes. And finally, some computation statistics on a per file basis with respect to which file contained how many reads and how many of those were mapped. From this overall report, you can drill down in two ways into the results. The first is a database of all genes and the second is a complete table. The database of all genes provides information with respect to the gene name description and the read counts for each of the genes, including an RPKM or and also for change when you have two experiments. The importance of having this database is that you can filter on it. For example, with these two filters, I can ask to see an AB for change of five or greater among receptor genes. This sort of filtering allows me to analyze my gene expression in any way. The second way to drill into the results is to get the complete table, which I can open in Excel. I have added some color to make the table a bit more readable, but essentially what you're seeing is for every gene, the read count coming from each of the, re of the files that we have uploaded or the read counts on a per lane basis. Obviously, you can export from here into GeneSpring or Spotfire or any other visualization software. So we have compared expression levels between liver and kidney, and we've also got an expression from each of the five data sets per tissue that we uploaded. Run RNA-seq on GenomeQuest to get accurate results, to run the analysis independent of your sequencing platform to be scalable without regard to how much data you're going to generate. Try it now at genomequest.com.